my whole body began to vibrate. Okay. So, Two things I don't mess with. Demonic stuff and demons. Do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy daddy, Scobar Drupal. Shall we back with another big body banger? You feel me? We so close to a million subscribers, so if you're watching this, hit the subscribe button right now. Now I'm saying, listen, y'all. Quick question. Quick question for y'all. Do y'all enjoy being ugly? No? That's what I was thinking. Jewel.com is it my two or three free below six and fifty dollars. You don't gotta be ugly no more. Not that you ugly now, but you could be you ugly compared to what you could be with a Jew red. Now I'm saying, like, imagine you right here. This is your attractiveness level right here. Without a Jew rag, you stay, you stuck here. You actually going downwards every single day. The more people in the world that get a Jew rag, your, your attraction level is going down. You get a Jew rag, boom, up there. Kyle self with Jew rag, man. But y'all see the title. I know what the heck we finna do. We like the video right now because you know it's finna be a freaking banger. But apparently these YouTubers just accidentally, randomly, out of nowhere, disappeared. Now me personally, I ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not scared of any any anything that's trying to come out here and kidnap these YouTubers or make them go bye bye. You feel me? Cause I wish a hitter would. And I'm saying I wish someone would try. Cause you know what? That will give me a reason to unleash these guns. You feel me? I don't want to have to do that. But I'm just saying if if something's making these YouTubers disappear. I'm gonna have to make that thing disappear. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? But apparently this YouTuber disappeared and we finna watch this. I ain't never knew none of these YouTubers disappeared. I, I I looked at the thumbnail. I don't even know most of these YouTubers. But hey, we finna watch it anyways. Y'all let me know in the comments down below if there was any YouTubers you guys used to watch that just all of a sudden just went bye bye. You never saw them again. You don't, no one knows where they went. Um, actually, I do know a couple, you feel me? I used to watch this dude, Travi Williams. I think he just started posting again. He disappeared for a long time. Um, who else did I used to watch that disappeared? Um, what's his name? Um, Splash. What's his name? Uh, Chris Smooth. Chris Smooth is waiting on a new, ha ha. That was the good YouTube time, I'm saying. Chris Smooth, I don't know where the heck that man went. I don't even know if he still makes video. I didn't even look it up. But, um, yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into this, man. Like the video right now, because we got banging drums for the rest of my life. Let's go. YouTubers that are timeless. Think of PewDiePie. PewDiePie. He's been on YouTube for over PewDiePie. 10 years. PewDiePie. There have been cases where people have had millions of subscribers on their channel, and then they just quit. Also, there's a couple of YouTubers I found who randomly disappeared and were never found again. They really went missing. Wait, this what? episode is going to be pretty weird and crazy, and there probably won't be a lot of evidence to where these people went, so I'm going to make some theories after we check out each person who disappeared, and me and you are going to try to figure out all these mysteries. First of all, do I look like do I look like Daphne and, and Velma and Fred and Scooby-Doo and Shaggy? I ain't helping you figure out nothing. If uh, You better tell me where they is. You, be, you better tell me. You better give me a logical explanation where these YouTubers is dis disappearing to. Because I will quickly delete my YouTube channel. I will. Expeditiously. I don't need to be going disappearing for YouTube. Man. Get your pickle flavored ice cream, warm milk, and get ready. Welcome I got a bar. to the YouTubers that disappeared. In this video, we're going to check out three YouTubers that disappeared. I'm going to start this video off strong with the story of Kenny Veach. Also known as Snake Bit McGee. Kenny was always an active person. He loved to show off things that he created, and he always loved to go into caves and show it to his YouTube channel. In one of his videos, though, he was just on a hike, and he explained how one time he walked up to a cave entrance, and his exact words were, I always enter every cave I find, but as I began to enter this particular cave, my whole body began to vibrate. Okay, so two things I don't mess with. Demonic stuff, and demons. Now saying, I, your body was vibrating. Now your body just turned to an Xbox controller when you shooting an AK-47 on Warzone, right? No, that's not a normal thing. That is, I didn't see that in the Bible. Where I got to the cave entrance, the worse the vibrating was. Suddenly, I became very scared and I ran out of there. That was one of the scariest things that has ever happened to me. After his fans begged him to go back to the cave and he didn't want to, he finally listened to them. See, I ain't stupid. I don't care what y'all tell me to do. If I felt some vibrations in my body when I'm in a certain area, I'm scared, 
I don't care how many likes y'all get, how many followers, no matter how many people DM me talking about go back in the cave. You go in the cave. Huh? You you can have my YouTube channel. You go in the cave. Who do I look like? A goofball? No. A huge amount of people really wanted to see what was in that cave and what was making him feel that way. And then he just gave in to the pressure. He went back and recorded his encounter and he shouldn't have done this. You won't believe what happens. Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? Why is this ad like this? Next. Wait. Real footage, okay. This time some rock climbing Where ASMR. I am on my hike up here in the mountains north of Las Vegas. In this video, he looks around and for 20 minutes, he's right at the spot where the cave was before, but he can't find it. Just weeks ago, it was there when he was there and now it was gone. This scared him even more. There's lots of little caves, um, but they're, you know, they're not the kind of cave I'm looking for. The kind of cave I'm looking for is, is deep and it's dark and it's, uh, it's shaped like, it's, it's shaped just like the letter M. The fact that this creepy cave just disappeared was crazy to him. A lot of his fans called him a liar and they told him that he probably did it for views. Because of all this hate, he was determined to go back a third time and really show them that it's real. But there was one comment, one comment that stood out from every other comment. The comment was by Lemmy Killemeister and it said, No, don't go back to that cave. If you find that cave entrance, do not go in. You will not get out. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Personally, I would listen to that one comment out of all the other comments. Y'all going to stupid game. I ain't doing that. Who I look like? Nobody really knew why this person commented that, but they thought it was just a troll. On November 10th, 2014, Kenny set off on his last hike. He told his family he was going for a short overnight trip, though he would never see his family again. Kenny had plenty of experience exploring caves because he would do it all the time. At the start of his video that he posted, he was standing by an abandoned mine shaft. This area is uh, that I'm in, it's kind of a weird thing. It's been out here forever. <clears throat> I mean, there's no roads, there's no trails. Um, uh, this thing, who knows how long it's been out here and I have no idea what they were digging up, but it looks like some of the rocks are kind of rusty, so it might've been some kind of ore. Um, this is kind of iffy, I'm gonna step on this thing, it's very old, but I'll just show you down inside that hole. It goes way, way, way down there. Let me see if I can... Uh, uh, that's pretty far. How to make you... Now what the heck? Okay. <clears throat> What is going on right now? How to... Oh. Uh, <laughs> that goes way down in there. In yeah, there, I see that. Fell, that'd be it. You'd be a goner. 12 days after he left to go explore it, authorities found his phone right there. There were no other leads, just his phone on the ground. One thing that does help us though with this story is his girlfriend posted a comment on one of his videos and she explained what she thinks happened. It's a long comment, so I'll try to summarize it. She basically said, Wait, it said that she thinks he committed suicide. What? I want you to know that I do not think he had an accident. I believe he committed suicide. He battled depression for many years and would not take medication or see a doctor. Wait. This next thing that she said in the comment really mixed up how I felt about it. She said he also did not take his video camera with him on this solo hike. It was left in the house, so he had no intention of filming Okay, this anything. is creepy. I don't That's like this. crazy. He didn't take his camera with him, even though he told his fans that he was going to record going into the cave? It's a sad story about an awesome guy who loved to show off what he liked to do. Let's get into the theories on what might have happened to him. Okay, I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. I don't know what happened, actually. Go ahead. Theory one. I didn't want to put this here, but our first theory is that he hurt himself in that cave on purpose. His girlfriend even said that he had a history of mental illnesses and the fact that he didn't bring a camera, why would he go if he wasn't recording? He told his fans that he was going to. Theory two. 
Something or someone was in that cave. That one comment that told him not to go back to the cave because he would not get out, I thought it was a troll comment, and someone was literally begging him not to go in that cave, and they were probably right. Something in that cave or someone in that cave is not very friendly. I believe this theory is the one that's true. He said he didn't feel right when he was at that cave. There had to be something wrong with it. Theory 3. He was exploring it and he accidentally fell or accidentally hurt himself. This one could be as true as the last one because, I mean, when you're out there hiking and going in the caves by yourself, you have nobody to help you. Okay, what? Do I just... Do what? Okay. Okay, let's, let's really talk about this. Why did he go in the cave in the first place? And why is it showing me Batman cave right now, man? This cave full of bats. I'm, okay, this is my theory, right? My theory is he went to that place, the mine shaft place. The wood broke out. The wood broke down. And then he fell in it, broke his legs. He couldn't move. Then you would, you would probably ask, like, then where's his body? Why the cops didn't find his body? Well, all the bats came and ate him. That's what I'm thinking. That's I think that's the, I think that's pretty smart. And you have no protection. This might be what happened to him, but he had a whole gun. Never known because he hasn't been found. Honestly, though, I think the second theory is the one that's right. I think something or someone was in that cave and they hurt. Him. I think my theory you know, was better. Get weird vibes from something and your body starts vibrating. That just doesn't happen unless there's an earthquake. Red Kimon had over 1.5 million okay, subscribers. It, okay, if you just switching after that, that was a very sad and like dark and scary um, thing. Are we just switching like that easily? And he okay. was one of the first GTA 5 funny moment channels. His videos were constantly getting millions and millions of views, and he was at the top of what he could be doing. He was at his peak. He was also racking in a lot of money with these videos. On May 20th, 2015, he would upload his last video. After about a week of not uploading, people started to ask in the comments where he was, and they didn't get an answer. Why would anybody leave a channel if they had over 1 million subscribers and they were getting millions of views? Well, that's what we're here to do. We're gonna figure this mystery out. Wait. After two years of him not uploading or not answering anybody on any social media that he had, people assumed that he was just gone. He was done. Nothing was posted on his Twitter his Instagram, or even his YouTube. But about two and a half years after his last video, he posted a comment on that video and he pinned it. He said, I am not dead. I'm sorry for not saying goodbye. I didn't say goodbye because I don't like saying it. I never realized how many subscribers and fans I had. I just wanted to take a break and then talk. So he didn't disappear. Why is this in his video? He, he said he just, he took a break. Time passed so quickly. He also stated that he didn't know if he would ever come back. The reason I put this in the video was because I find it crazy that he had over 1 million subscribers and was still averaging over 10 million views a video. And he quit. He quit YouTube. There's no theories for this one because he literally explained- That's what I'm saying, like why'd you put this in the he video, bro? Take a break and then lost track of time and he felt like it was already too late. Now the last channel we're gonna take a look at is a lot like the first one. Nobody really knows what happened. This channel was one of the first popular channels on YouTube and he was ranked 6th most popular channel at one point in his career. The channel name is Waste Time Chasing Cars. Yeah, that is so random. Well, this dude would upload weird videos and skits back in the day. Go on. What the heck? What? What is? What are we watching? What are we watching? Oh, dude, I just had a vision you die. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't even know why I laughed at that, but that was pretty funny. It wasn't, I don't know why it was funny, but it was pretty funny. I actually kind of found that video funny. I did not expect it. Yeah, for yeah. That being uploaded like 11 years ago, that's not that bad. That was funny. But yeah. seriously, the last time he uploaded a video was seven years ago. The last time he tweeted anything was seven years ago. The last time his second channel uploaded was eight years ago. So 
What happened? Honestly, I think he just he didn't want to make videos no more. Like these people ain't disappeared. The first dude, the first dude disappeared. I don't know what the heck happened to that man. But actually, I do know what happened. I told you what happened. The bats got him. But the other two people, the second guy, he didn't want to do YouTube no more. And this third person, he didn't want to do YouTube no more. Nobody really has a clue as to what happened. I'm sure only his close family members would have insight into this, so the only thing we have for any evidence is our theories. Theory one. He just got bored and he grew up. Yeah. There's no real evidence that anything bad happened to him, so we're just gonna have to believe that he left on his own. Yeah. When you watch his first ever videos, they seemed a lot more fun and heartfelt compared to the ones he recently uploaded. Maybe this was because he was losing interest in making YouTube videos. Yeah. I believe in this one. Theory two. He actually disappeared in real life. Only his family members truly know what happened to him, but after I looked all over the internet and I tried to do some research on him, I couldn't really find anything. I also didn't find an obituary, so I'm pretty sure he didn't die, but still, if he randomly disappeared, something had to- Wait, you could search up obituaries just like randomly? Like anybody's name, just search up the obituary? Is that a thing? I, that seems pretty creepy, but is that a th I didn't know you do that. What happened to him, but I don't even know what. That's why I think the first theory is true. He just got bored of making videos. He was making videos for over like four years, and yeah. that must get boring. I mean, YouTube is honestly an awesome job. Some people have it, and then they just give up, though. But the last dude we looked at, there wasn't ads on YouTube back then, so I guess it really wasn't a job for him. That's probably one of the reasons why he quit. Because he wasn't getting any. Yeah, I don't care about the rest of what this man is saying. Honestly, the first dude, y'all let me know what the heck where y'all think that man is at. I'm curious. Let me let me hear y'all theories in the comments down below. The other two people, I feel like they just quit YouTube, honestly. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any special thing behind that. The first dude is I don't know where the heck he at. They need to tell me where Chris Smooth is at. I need to find where is Chris Smooth. Chris Smooth is waiting on the noob. Ah -ha. I used to watch his 2K videos. I used to watch his Modern Warfare videos. Bruh, his, his channel used to be hilarious. You know what I'm saying? Then he finally did the face reveal. If y'all remember, he finally did the face reveal. That was the biggest video in the entire freaking world at that point. He, he, I remember he liked him with a big nose. I got a big nose too, don't I? Anyways, y'all, if y'all enjoyed the video, make sure to like right now. Before you dip out, joy.com, I'll see my two don't for me, but I'll send $50. I'm not finna disappear. So y'all don't gotta worry about me now. Say, keep me in your prayers so I don't go in no caves because y'all peer pressure me to go into some stupid, scary cave. I will never fold. Pray I never fold. And, um, yeah, that's really about it. I'ma see y'all. Ayo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline They choose I, cause I'm way above you The waves make the haters love you When the ladies come through